is now viewers shifting our focus as the deadline for the nominations in the Maharashtra assembly election ends both the Mahavikas Agadi that's the MVA and the ruling Mahayuti coalition have now finalized their seat sharing arrangements after the nominations have been done now the seat sharing ta talks have also uh, ended the MVA comprising Shiv Sena the UBT faction Congress, NCP and Samajwadi Party has announced candidates for all 288 seats with Congress securing 102 seats while Shiv Sena, the UBT and the NCP SP distributed 89 and 87 seats respectively. On the other side, the BJP-led Mahayuti has strategically allotted 148 seats to BJP. 80 to the Shinde led Sena factions and 53 to Ajit Pawar's NCP, with some seats given to allies contesting under BJP's banner. The withdrawal deadline is November 4th, with polls set for November 20th and results due on November 23rd. All right, viewers, let's also quickly take a look at uh, the kind of uh, alliance agreement that has been done in uh, the MVA where the seat sharing as you can see on your screen the distribution basically while the Congress is getting 103 seats after the talks of the alliance in the MVA has happened the 87 seats are going to be uh, with the NCP SP uh, Sharat Pawar faction and while the Shiv Sena the UBT faction is going to be fighting the polls against the uh, against the Mahayuti on the 89 seats and when we talk about the Mahayuti it is important to talk about how in fact uh, the BJP allocation has happened the seats with the BJP is the highest in the Mahayuti where 152 have been given to the BJP for contesting the elections and for 52 seats the NCP uh, Ajit Pawar faction has got the candidates and while we talk about the Shiv Sena, the Shinte faction, these are the 84 seats and now the 288 seats for Maharashtra assembly polls have been uh, the, in fact sealed for the talks and uh, candidates have filed their nomination. The withdrawal is uh, November 4th for uh, the nominations and when we talk about the undecided seats there are four seats where Mahayuti is still contesting and on the 11 seats the MVA which is right now remaining undecided as of uh, at this point of time there is still no clarity on the 15 seats while to get more details about the latest on the same uh, joining me on the broadcast is my colleague Anand Singh Anand a very good morning and uh, at this point of time there is uh, despite the seat sharing alliance the 15 seats which in fact are undecided there is little clarity on that and what are your understanding and your sources giving us a sense of how exactly these are the crucial seats which uh, the 15 candidates could potentially be announced soon and who, what are these prominent seats where there is let, little less clarity? Uh, the last day of filing nomination in Maharashtra was on October 29th, that was Tuesday. So, uh, almost 7,995 uh, candidates have filed their nomination papers for over 10,000 uh, nomination uh, forms uh, with the election commission of India. And that uh, it, uh, the election commission announced that in a press statement yesterday. So clearly, uh, the MVA and the Mahayuti government, which are uh, alliance partners, the MVA and Mahayuti, they too have fielded several of the candidates. And the, if we talk about Mahavikas Agadi, then in this we have seen that Congress has fielded candidates on 102 seats, while uh, the few uh, Sena faction of the Udo Balasar Thakre, they have fielded candidates on. Uh, 96 seats uh, in the 2024 Maharashtra election. So definitely the rest of the seats of 86 seats have gone to NCP led by the Sarat Pawar faction and while the rest of the seats have been left for its alliance partners like the Peasants and Workers Party and the Samajwadi Party here in uh, Maharashtra. So clearly there is still unclarity over several of the seats that the MVA have left. However, the the Congress wanted to contest on several of the seats in Mumbai, whereas the Sri Sena had already announced their candidate. But now they have given uh, another alternate seat to Congress on which they have fielded their candidate. But uh, if we talk about the Mahayuti uh, in the BJP, uh, Mahayuti in Maharashtra, which consists of the BJP, then the Eight Nath, and the led faction of the Sri Sena, and 
Ajit Pawar led faction of the NCP. So the BJP has fielded 102, 152 candidates in Maharashtra, the highest among any of the political parties in the state in 2024 assembly elections. Whereas the Eknath Sinde led camp has fielded 80 candidates in this election, and the Ajit Pawar faction has fielded 52 candidates in this election. However, uh, on rest of the seats, they have offered to some of their uh, alliance partners in the state. But still, there is also unclarity over several of the seats which it had left for uh, its uh, alliance partner, small alliance partner in the state. And if we talk about the rebel candidates in Maharashtra, then the game of the both the parties can be uh, means uh, they will be facing a very tough, stiff competition from the rebel candidates in several of the seats. And one of those seats uh, includes of the Bori Valley, where the BJP this time decided to field uh, Sanjay Upadhyay. And while the Shiv Sena of uh, Udo Balasaw Thakre has filled Sanjay Mutale from the constituency, the uh, former two-time BJP MP Gopal Sethi was eyeing to be a candidate for the uh, of Bori Valley. However, he was denied taking and he decided to contest as a rebel candidate or an independent candidate in this election. So, there are several such seats in Maharashtra on which the rebel can uh, be very crucial and uh, hamper the chances of both seats. And those seats also include the of Umrej, from where uh, uh, BJP nominated Sudhir Parve uh, while the Congress fielded Sanjay Meshram. Uh, Eknath Sindh led faction has uh, Raju Parve uh, the, in the election, but uh, now Raju Parve has decided to as an independent candidate because uh, he had last vote on the Congress in 2019 Assembly election. But he uh, to Sin Sena of the Eknath Sindh camp ahead of the Lok Sabha election, but uh, he was denied ticket by Eknath Sindh led faction, so he too decided to contest as an independent candidate. So the problem with the Mahayuti and Mahavita Sawad is that several of such candidates have decided to contest the election as uh, independent candidates which can hamper the chances of both the parties here in Maharashtra. And many of the seats include the, the like uh, Chinchwar seat, uh, then Katol assembly seat, Pandharpur and many others. Uh, so Definitely, it will be a very tough contest for all the alliance partners over here in Maharashtra when they have to deal with their own rebel candidates who are contesting the election as independent candidates over here. Back to you, Samir. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Anand, I'll request you to kindly stay on with us while we also get more breaking updates as far as the finalizing of the names of the nominations from the undeclared seats where there is little less clarity ahead of the Maharashtra polls is concerned. Now, after they, uh, many, many fresh faces have been denied uh, the ticket, uh, many rebels have also decided to contest the polls after the party denied them ticket. The seats where rebels from the Mahayuti Alliance are contesting includes the Borivali, Umbret, Andheri, East Chincharwat, Katol and Manak Kud Shivaji Nagar. From the MVA, rebels will fight from uh, Pandpur and Paranda and Solap. All right, Anand joins me live on the broadcast. Anand, now, in fact, as we are decoding what remains uh, to be uh, the final picture of all the candidates on the 288 seats as of now the, a bigger picture has been clarified but what remains to be uh, the future in the coming days after Diwali we can expect that the rebels who have been denied ticket in the Mahayuti and the MVA will be contesting from which seats yes and when look as just I informed that uh, the seat of Borivali from where BJP former MP uh, two-time MP Gopal Sethi was eyeing a ticket, but the BJP decided to field Sanjay Upadhyay from the Borivali Assembly seat. So similarly, he will be facing the Sri Sena UVT candidate Sanjay Musale from there. So uh, now Gopal Sethi has decided to contest the election as an independent candidate. So it will be a, a very big header for BJP over there as it will uh, split the vote uh, of the uh, people over there as uh, it will lead to division in the votes of the BJP. 
Similarly, in Umrej Singh, the BJP has nominated Suti Suhir Parve. Uh, from there, while the Congress has fielded Sanjay Meshram and Rajiti uh, faction led by the Ek Nath Sinde camp of Sinsena. So, he was eyeing a ticket in this assembly elections too, but uh, he was denied ticket. So, Parve has now decided to contest as an independent candidate over here. So, it will be again a headache for the Mahayuti uh, alliance over there. And if we talk about uh, the Andheri East seat, the Ekna Singh led Shiv Sena has fielded Murji Patel from the assembly seat, while the Shiv Sena uh, led by Udhav Thakre has nominated Ritujal Latke. So now Swikriti Sarma, who recently joined the Shiv, uh, Ekna Singh led faction of the Shiv Sena over here, she is contesting the election as an independent candidate as she was denied the ticket from the uh, Mahayuti faction over here in Maharashtra. So again, this will be uh, a very interesting contest over here because Sri Kriti Sarma is the wife of former encounter specialist Pradeep Sarma in Maharashtra. So it will be once again, there will be a division of votes uh, in these three assembly uh, seats where the BJP and Eknath Sinde led camp is concerned. And if we talk about uh, Chinchawar seat, so from here, BJP has fielded Sankar Jattap uh, from this seat, while the NCP led by Sarad Pawar has decided to field Rahul Kalate and Nana Kate, who is uh, from Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar led uh, NCP camp. He is contesting elections as an independent candidate as he didn't get a ticket. And uh, if we talk about uh, uh, Nana Kate, he had unsuccessfully contested from this seat uh, by polls uh, on an NCP ticket. So he was denied a ticket and now he too has decided to contest as an independent candidate. If we talk about the Katol assembly seat, the NCP uh, Sarad Pawar faction has fielded Salil Deshmukh uh, from this seat while Charan Singh Thakur has been fielded by the BJP. And similarly, Naresh Arsade, leader from the Ajit Pawar's NCP faction, is now also contesting from the Katol Assembly seat. Uh, Salil Deshmukh is the son of former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh and uh, he is an MLA from Katol and hence he was fielded from there. However, the NCP didn't want to leave the seat uncontested and nominated Arsade from there. So once again, on this uh, uh, seat of Katol, there will be a split in votes uh, in the Mahayuti faction that will be clearly visible as uh, the rebel candidates have now decided to file uh, nomination papers. And if we talk about Pandharpur seat, um, assembly seat in Maharashtra, the BJP has uh, fielded Samadhan Awatare from the constituency and Anil Sawant has been given tickets from the NCP Sarad Pawar faction. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.